Today, we have a situation where solar panels should be able to produce double the amount of energy. And in personal care, we use microplastic, toxic UV filters, and other harmful ingredients to create the properties that people crave. And we need more sustainable feeds and fertilizers. Can you imagine one material that can help solve all of these problems? I'm Sophie. I'm one of the founders and CEO of Swedish Algae Factory. I'm a bike technician turned entrepreneur that fell in love with algae. I started this company to prove that it's possible to create impossible materials in a climate positive and profitable way. The material I'm talking about is derived from this type of algae diatoms, and you see it around the green biomass on the first picture and more zoomed in on the second picture. It's a silica shell that actually makes this type of algae so successful that they produce a fifth of all the oxygen on the planet. The real uniqueness of this material is seen in the second picture, the regular nano-sized pores in several layers. We humans have been trying to synthesize a material like this, but we have not succeeded. This material has evolved to trap visible light efficiently for photosynthesis, to block and manipulate UV light to avoid DNA degradation, and to absorb and release different kind of chemical substances to make sure that the algae do not starve. We cultivate and extract this material whilst maintaining its properties, and we call this material algae. Algae's properties are of interest in a wide variety of industries, and the production is circular. It absorbs carbon dioxide, and we treat nutrient-rich water from a nearby land-based fish farm in production. After extracting algae, the rest of the organic nutrient and oil-rich biomass can feed the fish more sustainably or go to production of more sustainable fertilizers. Today, when we are producing this material in pilot, we are selling it to the personal care industry and we're testing partnerships in solar. Algae solves the top pains of personal care all in one material. It moisturizes and cleanses just as good or even better than synthetic alternatives, whilst providing a good texture. We also have promising results in one of the new big trends in personal care, anti-pollution and UV light blocking. Algae is natural, certified organic and ocean safe. Algae can increase the efficiency of the most common solar panel type today, silicon solar panels, with at least 4%. This is worth at least 1.2 billion euros for the industry yearly. And according to WWF, one kilo of algae in this application can reduce carbon dioxide emissions with 200 tons per year. And in a new, more flexible type of solar cell, disynthesized solar cells, we have seen efficiency gains of up to 38% to get with Sharman's University of Technology. As of today, we have five paying customers in the personal care industry and 36 actors that are testing or have tested the months to move forward. Seven of these are larger global actors that need more algae than we can produce. And in solar, we have four testing partnerships, and one of those recently turned out so successful that we have now signed a letter of intent to purchase for algae once we have scaled up. We have patent pendings for algae cultivation design and also for core applications of algae. This is our current production facility in Sweden. But next year, we want to build our first larger factory. And we are now raising funds for that. And the prize money will go to this production capacity that can make 10 million personal care products more sustainably and save up to 100,000 of tons of carbon dioxide when algae is utilized in solar. This is our team that is building this. We have over 100 years of experience in algae research, engineering, and startups, with business expertise from companies like Axon and Bell. I believe that we need to get inspired by nature in order to solve the great sustainability challenges that we are facing. Actually, all what we really do at Swedish Algae Factory is that we help algae be a part of saving the world. Thank you.